To start a new Tailwind project in CodeKit, choose File, New Tailwind CSS Project, or bring up the project's popover and use the plus button to get to the same option. Choose a folder for your new project, I'll name mine Tailwind on the desktop, and choose. CodeKit will automatically create the necessary files and download the latest version of all required packages from NPM. Then it'll build the project for you. Once that's done, simply hit the preview button and you're ready to get to work. A few details. First, CodeKit defaults to using at import statements in the CSS file. This lets you import your own custom CSS files if needed. However, if you'd prefer, you can use at Tailwind statements here. CodeKit understands both. Next, when you start a new Tailwind project in the app, certain settings begin with default values regardless of what your new project defaults are set to. For example, on a style sheet, you'll find the combined imported files and auto prefixer options enabled. Purging unused CSS rules will happen in the production build environment only, and likewise your CSS will minify only in production. The build environment itself always defaults to development. The reason for that is that Tailwind contains many, many, many thousands of CSS rules. The idea being, once you're done constructing your HTML and JavaScript files, you run purge CSS, which removes all of the CSS rules that you didn't use. However, in the beginning, when you don't have your HTML and JavaScript done, you don't want to purge too soon. Otherwise, rules that you are going to use will be missing from the style sheet and you'll constantly have to recompile it. Once you're done building your site, simply change the environment to production and then rebuild the project here. That will provide nice, slim CSS files. Much of the look and feel of a Tailwind website is controlled in the tailwind.config.js file. CodeKit creates one of these for you automatically and adds some helpful comments. You can control the usual options and even specify custom Tailwind plugins that should run when this project is built. You'll need to install those plugins so that CodeKit can find them, but that's easy to do. Simply switch to the packages area in the app, search for the plugin you want, and install it right from CodeKit's UI. The app will find it in the Node Modules folder. Finally, one key thing to note is that only certain purge options are available in the Tailwind config file. All other options related to purge CSS are controlled in CodeKit's UI under Project Settings, Tools, Purge CSS. If you supply those options here, CodeKit will overwrite these values in the config file with the values from the app's UI.